this is my 15 second trailer. My name is Cameron Rooney Finnegan, and I'll be going through things that I've done in my 15 second trailer. We start off with this cut. I use the piano key to cut between takes of studio logo and then at the title of the film. That's where we introduce our main character, which is Eggsy. We then cut to a, another image of Eggsy who's older. I felt like this was appropriate to use because obviously we want to know that the film is being set with Eggsy being older, not a, a young kid. Uh, but I also again use the piano key to cut between young Eggsy and then a mature Eggsy. We then end this with Fade to Black, as seen here. Uh, I felt like that was good because obviously it, a fade to black almost adds a, a tone of it's almost sadness it's not it's not fully sadness but it's um it dims the tone um which i think was appropriate to use at the end there things i would change um maybe would be this piano key here doesn't have a cut to it don't name it, man. but i did use it to time it with him after him saying oh what's your name young, uh, what's your name young man The 30 second trailer is my most challenging uh, and we'll, I'll explain why. Cutting into it, we have both of the studio companies uh, that we used as well as the distributors. Uh, I also keyframe the audio here so that it fades in. Starts off with a scene of Eggsy crashing the car. We then use an L cut uh, for the audio which then transitions into Exley getting at the police station, which was a fade in from, uh, it was a dissolve, sorry. Uh, we then also keyframe the audio as without these keyframes, there is background audio of the track. I tried best to eliminate this. I did go through um, audio EQ, but I just couldn't at all find the way to, to minimize the audio to the best that I can. I find this was the best solution. Exley, would you like a lift home? And then we start with the iconic uh, James Brown Packers Got a Brand New Bag. Again, you can hear a little bit of the audio from this. This scene, I also had trouble with. I had to cut the audio off uh, on the song, but I felt this was good because it highlighted the comedy aspect of this. If I had a little bit more time, I'd, obviously I've had to, I have had to adhere to the time constraints given to me, but if I had a little bit more time, this scene would almost like fit perfectly for me. It's just that it feels a little bit too quick. Shut up. I'll be right. And then we come back in with the song again on this right here. Shut up. I'll be right back. Got a brand new bed. And then we also have the film release date as well. In the one minute trailer, I also used uh, Elton John, I'm Still Standing. Uh, obviously, Tara Egerton also played Elton John. Uh, in the movie dedicated towards him. You die. Then we add that in, and that's where we introduce the music. We then can see that the dialogue here. Q, great performance of primary school. And it all went tits up. Drugs, petty crime, never had a job. Obviously, when he speaks in about drugs and petty crime, we're meant to be referencing towards these type of scenes. Well, when you grow up around someone like my stepdad, you pick We introduce the stepdad. Obviously, we know that the stepdad isn't a key figure in the film, but it was something that I felt like I could cut away to and have it as like a separate element. And then we can see how, from this scene, how it transpires. Well, when you grow up around someone like my stepdad, you pick up new hobbies pretty quick. Go on, lads. There'll be two hits. Me and him, him hitting the floor. Come on in. And then we cut back to the dialogue scene of them two talking. So that introduces what step that's like, and you can tell that them two don't obviously get along with each other. But then I also use stuff like him hitting the glass to quick cut to the next scene. So you'll see. And then on the guitar riff, we go to a close up of him in a suit. So you can see it sort of come up as well. But then also his process of getting there. But then we'll also finish with the credits, the name of the film, and also the release date. Overall, I felt like the start of the f uh, one minute went really well. I, you know, I also used at the end here a fade out on the song. As for effects, effects weren't used as much here. Um, this was 
uh, I also forgot to mention the other ones. The start was quickened up, as you can see. The distributors and the studio companies load quicker. Um, I adjusted them. I believe they adjusted to 1950% percent speed. But yeah, I'd, I'd, overall, I think the 15 second trailer was my best one. The one minute one uh, was my second best. And as well, I enjoyed making the one minute one with the Elton John song. The 30 second one was the most challenging uh, for me. I just felt like it, there wasn't enough time to to make a story, but then also fit in fighting scenes or action scenes.